But now you don't have to go too far. You can pick up your phone and put a call through. You can use text, you can send email, or any of the other social media. And please understand that as a church, there is something that is called the law of the hook and the bait. In order to reach the world, we need to get the bait to reach them. The bait to attach to the hook. And the artists we are inviting are means to an end. We could have just used our choirs a lot and understand that these artists coming are not for free. And if you know what is costing us to get them, but why do we have to do this? We are doing this by the grace of God because a single soul values much more than any amount of millions of dollars that you may ever spend. Are we together? And we are expected to be matured that as we invite people from outside to come and minister so that we can reach those who are outside, that you don't now say, okay, oh, look at this one. That's how we want to be. No. When you go to the hospital to visit a sick person, you don't pick a bed in the hospital. Is that what you do? No. You only go visit and you come out. You come back. We are using all these people irrespective of their outfits, irrespective of the instrument they use. We want to use them to reach the people we need to reach. And we're communicating. And so we should be matured in our understanding, in our reasoning to know that this is a strategy to take the gospel to the whole world. And you don't lower your own standards. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Philippians chapter 1 verse 12. Philippians chapter 1 verse 12. There the Bible says, But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the fordrance of the gospel. We are fordering the gospel. We are fordering the globalization of the gospel. It's a global church. It's an heavenly church. It's the gospel church. It's a charge unto us. And so we don't expect that any deeper lifer will now go and begin to lower their own standard. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. We are expected to get the flyer. Your pastors are going to send them to you, and most of you can get online, you can get it. Get it on your WhatsApp, get it on your Facebook, get it on your uh, text begin to send out and uh, compel people to come. Compel them to come. Promote it with everything you can. And the Lord will bless you as you do in Jesus' name. As a church, we are expected to invite 10 people, each person. And out of the 10 people, you are, we are expected to at least minimum be able to follow up on two of them. And at the least be able to integrate one of them in the church. Can you imagine if in one month, each of us can win, not just invite, now you invite 10 people, but out of that minimum, you win one person that stays with the church, definitely by next month our church is double. Communication of faith. 
Confession of faith. Command of faith. I said our church is doubled. So shall it be in Jesus' name. But that will be by you working, not just the pastor working, not just our workers and leaders working. You are working, I am working, the leader is working, those that have been led are working. We are all working together. Miracle will happen. Our churches will never remain the same again in Jesus' name. And we are working on doing flyer that will be in Spanish for the sake of the Hispanic community. And get ready. Whatever you can use to propagate the gospel, please do it. The documentary I sent out to the pastors last month, please send to all your members. You can use that also. I told you we can use electronic flyer and we can use the physical flyer. I told you for all this, we are waiting on God. I will lift up my eyes unto the heat. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from God, the maker of heaven and earth. And that God will not fail us in Jesus' name. After the crusade, actually during the crusade or even before, funds will be sent out for people that gave their life to Christ to feel. For you as a pastor to feel for whatever happened in your church. And then people that got healed. How do I know some of those that happened over here? Because reports were sent in. And we had to forward that to where it is happening over there. And as many people that opportunity will allow to give testimony, they are being allowed to give it during the program. I pray before the program is over, you will have a testimony. After the program, we are going to be having CFM, Christ Friends Forum. Christ Friends Forum. It's a forum whereby we are going to be able to get all the converts together and be able to minister to them further and make them real friends of Christ and strive to get them integrated into the church. And we need to know that an app is being developed. More of that will be communicated to the pastors and they will get across to us. Uh, an app is being developed for you as a member, as a soul winner, you can go online, get on the app. What the Lord has used you to do, the combat, you can put it in, it will get to Nigeria right away. As pastors, we can do our own collation, and then it will get over there right away. The church is going to put together a letter. We've not gotten it. The letter should come before the end of the week that we are going to be giving to people that gave their life to Christ. It's going to be a letter from the GS by himself. Praise the Lord. All those that gave their life to Christ during this crusade, I expected to be contacted within 24 hours. And pastors, you see, these are some of the things I've been saying for even all our normal regular uh, guests in the church. That when a guest comes to the church within 24 hours, such a guest must be contacted. And so, now it's now a global church. That no matter where you are, in Asia, in Europe, in Africa, in North America, in the Middle East, wherever you are, within 24 hours, you must contact the people that gave their life to Christ or came for the program. That's why you say, Lord, give me a soul. And I will do it for you in Jesus' name. There is going to be global workers training. Details of that to be communicated unto us by and by. 
and there is going to be Converse Plus as well. These are the informations we have right now. I told you earlier on that today, we are observing fasting and praying. By 6 p.m. today, again, if I were you, I would join before 6 p.m. You connect on Zoom, you connect on YouTube. All the channels will be open. And understand, today is going to be national national all the regions in the united states are joining even though we are the hosts in our region praise the lord so get ready on wednesday the 15th that will be just our region doing it by ourselves and it's going to be 6 p.m as well Excuse me, I take that back. For Wednesday, it's going to be 7 p.m. So that those who have gone to work, they can come back and then they can all be part of it. On these days of the prayer and fasting, well, on the 19th, I told you that already, next Sunday, is going to be another one. That of next Sunday is not national. It's going to be what? global those in Asia those everywhere so please get ready now to all our pastors you must have seen that from the Bible study now we have choir singing from all over. And so please let us endeavor to make sure. If we can just correct those kids, I'll appreciate that. Let us endeavor to ensure that we follow all this, play the songs that have been sent to us. As the songs are coming, you are getting them, you get them online, just like you get the GS message and then Place so that Bible study will want uniformity everywhere in the world. And understand, uh, as the people in music department have been told, worldwide now, worldwide, um, Bible study is different from revival, is different from crusade. And so, whatever we do, you see the standard of the church over there. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If for any reason you are asked to make presentation in music, please be sure that you, your choir have uniform. That's number one. Number two, be sure. This is to all our pastors and the uh, choir leaders now. Be sure that your video department is at a professional level. If you don't have that standard, please pay attention, go and hire. Because you are going to be making presentation to the globe, the whole world. There must be uniformity. And there must be clear cut difference between our choir and those we are inviting from outside. I need an amen there. Amen. And once again, if you have been told to present, make sure your recording does not go beyond three minutes. It can be less than three minutes, but it must not be three minutes and one second. Praise the Lord. So all this we need to know ahead of time and we'll let you know if there be need to combine some people together to sing whatever we need to do, we shall be doing that. It is well with you all. Members, you can help your pastor. Worker, you can help your pastor. Pastor's wives, you can help your husband. 
Pastors, you can help one another. Pastors, you can help your overseer. When we all work together, the miracle will happen. Thank you all. God bless you. If you have people that are good with IT, please send their lists, their names, down to the regional office, the admin department. Don't send to my email. Send it to the admin, please. The admin will compile everything and then forward the compilation to me before we forward to them at the headquarters. They need a lot of IT people right now. I told you, our church is evolving. Amen. New things are happening. New things are happening. It's a new day. Tell your neighbor, you are blessed. Tell your neighbor, I am blessed. Tell your neighbor, I will be part of this new thing. Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall you not see it? I will make a way even in the wilderness. Rise upon your feet. The grace after to one to go. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We